Online Graphic Design Tool Canva has finally released its video editing functionality. And although it's not a full functioning non-linear editor like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, it's still a very useful tool for video editing, particularly for beginners. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three pro tips to help you get the most out of Canva's video editor. Let's do this. G'day my friends, it's Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and on this channel I share tips, tricks and strategies to help engage your ideal audience to action through effective video marketing. If that sounds good to you, hit subscribe and don't miss another video. So online graphic design tool Canva is a powerhouse when it comes to designing graphics and even animations for social media. But recently with the introduction of the video editor, it really opens up the possibilities of what you can create with Canva. And I'm excited about the possibilities, particularly for beginning video marketers or for those projects where you don't wanna dive into some of the bigger, more robust software like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. So in this video, I'm actually gonna share with you three, I guess, hacks or ways that I'm approaching using this Canva video editor in a way that brings some more pro functionality to the fairly limited and basic video editor that we currently find in the Canva video editor. So I hope you find these tips useful as we unpack them through this video. My first pro tip is to take a leaf out of the book of any professional video producer when it comes to pre-production or planning out your sequence or sequence of shots before you start the edit. Now using Canva's editing features, you're able to actually use the pages functionality to add a number of pages which will become your scenes of your project. All you wanna do is click create a design and then video. Once that loads, what we're gonna be doing is to actually opening it up into grid view. Now in grid view, think of it like a storyboard or a sequence of shots that are going to build your final project for your video in Canva. So I'm going to add here just a number of scenes or shots, and then I'm going to go and edit using the pencil icon here and structure out my video. So I'm gonna start with the hook, and then I'm going to have an intro scene, Next is tip number one, and then I'll go to tip number two, and of course, after this will be tip number three. And then of course, I want to end with my closing, and then my call to action, and YouTube cards. So in this case, what I'm doing is actually planning out what could be a YouTube video. Now from here, you can actually go a step further into click into one of these uh, empty storyboard frames and click on the notes section here and in the notes section you can start typing out or entering in any comments or scripts so type 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 your script or notes about the shot or scene yeah and then that will help you when you go to actually create the video in Canva we go back to the grid view here and you can also actually start to play around with the sequence and the structure. So maybe you'll realize that tip number three is actually better as the first tip. So you can move things around and from there you're able to visualize how your video is coming together. And then the next stage is to simply go in and populate those scenes or pages with your graphics, with your videos, with your animations or whatever it is that you're going to put in there. And my second tip relates to sometimes in Canva, you wanna add specific animations or elements into your project at a specific point within an existing video, such as the subscribe icon right here. And the answer to this is actually super simple, but often overlooked. So what we wanna do is to simply find the element that we're looking for. And in this case, I'm going to pick one of these subscribe animations this one here looks good here and if I was to add that in without doing this little trick I'm going to share with you it's basically going to bring that in from the start of the animate of the actual clip so I'll take that back to here and you'll see that the subscribe button is coming in right at the start now I don't necessarily want it right at the start so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to undo the addition of that element Find that point at 33.5 where I want to insert my clip 
And here I'm going to split the clip. And then on this second instance of the clip, so now we've kind of split the clip in two, that's where I'm going to add my subscribe animation. And now if I just customize that the way that I want to, and maybe I'll even throw in this little bell icon as well, because who doesn't like encouraging people to click subscribe and then the bell. So I'm going to throw those in side by side and then we'll just have a look at how that looks. So you can see that now that element is coming on at that point of the clip. It's important to note here that when you play back the video in the Canva video editor, that sometimes you'll see a bit of a stutter or a jump. Now, don't worry, because when you export the video, that will play smoothly and seamlessly between those two cuts. My third tip here is related to a trick that all video editors use, which is the idea of covering over your A-roll of your video with B-roll. Now, in video editing terms, B-roll refers to footage that is overlaid or put on top of, in the timeline, the main content of the video. So you might have an interview, which is uh, the main content, or a talking head like this one here, and then we overlay it with footage like this, whilst we're still hearing the main A-roll playing underneath. Now, in Canva, it's not super simple to figure out how to add that additional layer of video, but... Let me talk you through how to do that using this pro hack. So with your A-roll in the timeline, first decide on which section of the A-roll you want to overlay with a B-roll shot. Now let's choose this section starting right here. You'll want to split the page at the place that you want the cut to happen and then find the end point for the B-roll and split again. And now we have a section of the original shot which has been separated from the section on either side. This is the part that we want to cover over with B-roll. Okay, let's do a quick search for the B-roll that we want to use either from the video uploads or from the Canva stock library. This one looks good here. Okay, simply right click and select detach the video from the background and then take the B-roll shot, right click and then add the video to the background. Now we have the A-roll on top of the B-roll. Now we don't want to see the A-roll vision but we do want to hear the audio. So simply click on the A-roll, select the transparency option and drag it all the way down to 0%. So there you have it. Audio from the A-roll is heard with the B-roll on top. With these simple tricks to using the video editor in Canva, you're able to create a much more professional result, which is almost as good as what you might be able to create using professional video editing software. Now, the video editor in Canva is still fairly new to the software. So hopefully some of the things that we've talked about today might actually be rolled out into the video editor in Canva in the future. But for now, these workarounds are hopefully a great way to get you started and to really maximize what you're creating in the power that is the Canva video editor. And if you want to have a look at exactly how I created this video that you're watching right now, all completely edited within Canva. You can have a look at my full walkthrough right here. Right there, I'm gonna walk you through exactly everything that I did to put this video together 